in this van just hit me out of nowhere. I thought I was dead. After the accident, I was in a lot of pain, and I decided that I needed to get an attorney because I could not work. I called Jacoby and Myers. They had their own dream team for every need, every area. They took care of me like a queen. I would recommend you call Jacoby and Myers. They really went to bat for me. If you've been in a serious accident, we are here for you. Call Jacoby and Myers, justice for you since 1972. But these high chances, it's hard to breathe, hard to take in. Now, the most important stories from across the country and here at home. A deeper dive into the biggest stories impacting you and your family. Mm. It's impacting everyone who engages in air travel, and it's an issue we have to address. Exploring new ways to improve emotional wellness. Less than half of all adults with mental illness diagnosis receive care for it. Plus, the positive and the inspirational. What else could I do that is more rewarding? I'm Tom Hanson. Your news starts now. This is Bay Area Now News. I'm Ann Makovic with a look at some of your top local stories tonight, starting with a shooting investigation involving a naked woman shutting down a section of the Bay Bridge. It all started during the busy evening commute just before 5 p.m. The CHP responding to a naked woman on the bridge whom they say jumped out of her car and started firing a gun in the air before shooting at other cars stopped on the highway. That incident shut down eastbound lanes for about an hour, creating a huge traffic mess. Luckily, no injuries were reported. The woman was detained and taken to the hospital for medical and psychi psychiatric evaluation. Alameda County's district attorney has been called out by critics who say she's too lenient when it comes to violent crimes. And now a Bay Area police chief is speaking up about her handling of a case. The Livermore chief took the rare step of writing an impassioned letter to Pamela Price, asking for tougher charges against a convicted felon accused in a couple of brazen armed robberies. Well, our chief, the chief told our Katie Nielsen why he thinks the crimes are exactly why sentencing enhancements exist. This is the shopping center where that armed robbery happened. Two women in their 20s, both robbed at gunpoint by a man the police chief says was a convicted felon, was on parole, and was wearing an ankle monitor at the time. The 